Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Family Back Relief Center, offering convenient, affordable chiropractic care. It's Monday, we're back in the office. It was a beautiful weekend. I had a great time, hopefully you did too. But we're ready to get back at it and help people feel better as quickly as we can. We're here from nine to 12, three to six today. Um, any questions, shoot us a message, give us a call. But we will be in the office today and tomorrow. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, what I do daily for some neck mobilization and stretching. Uh, it should only take you two to three minutes to do this. Um, I go through three movements uh, for my neck and my shoulders that help mobilize and stretch, usually in the morning sometime, um, sometimes in the shower, just to kind of get things moving with the warm water um, pushing, on, uh, pushing on my neck and muscles. That helps as well. But simply what I do is I start by moving my head and my neck in all the ranges of motion. So I'll come down, tuck my chin towards my chest, I'll come and extend my back, opening up my chest, lifting my shoulders back. I'll tilt my ear to my shoulder, left, right, and then I'll turn to the left and then to the right. A few things to note here. Usually I spend about five seconds in each movement. I'm just going through it quickly with you. Uh, also, if I feel pain, um, I don't go that far. I ease up a little bit and then maybe I'll do it a second or a third time until I don't feel, feel, feel pain anymore. If I feel a stretch, I might hold it and it feels really good and it's, I feel like it's tight and it needs it. I might hold it for an extra five or 10 seconds as well. So that's the first mobilization I do. The second thing I do is some neck rolls. What I typically do is go really slow. If I find an area that's tight again, I'll hold it for a second or two. You just wanna make really big circles with your head and your neck. I usually do it three to five times and then I reverse the direction of my head and my neck to make sure that I really mobilize and get things moving, open up the joint spaces, stretch the muscles. And the last thing I do is some stretching, um, uh, a little more aggressive stretching. And the way I do that typically is uh, with the opposite hand, I'll usually hold the chair um, underneath the chair or table if I'm sitting on it. And then I'll reach across with my arm and I'll just bring my head over. By holding the chair or the bottom of the table, it isolates those neck muscles so you're not doing this. Instead, you're opening up those neck muscles of the traps, cervical paraspinal muscles, and I'll just bring it over and you're gonna feel a big stretch across your neck, your shoulder, even down into your arm. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side, okay? And then what I might do is I might actually change um, the angle where I'm coming down, hitting a different point of the muscle, different muscle group, and then the same thing on the other side. I mean, you can even do this to the side as well. You wanna just push. You can even offer yourself a little resistance in the opposite way, um, but not really needed. Those three movements tend to really open up and stretch my neck muscles in the morning. Um, or if I feel tight after a you know, workout where I'm working my, my shoulders or my chest, um, where those muscles are really kind of taxed. Uh, that's all we have for today. If you have any questions about these movements, you can see how simple they are to do. Uh, safe as well. Remember, if you feel pain, um, number one, don't go that far. Number two, if pain persists, give us a call and we can uh, get you fixed up as quickly as possible or advise you on how we can alter that stretch or mobilization. That's all we have today. Hopefully you have a great day. It looks like another beautiful day. And uh, again, we're here for you if you need us and we're here to help. And we're here to answer your questions and enjoy your day. See you next time.